Hey guys, I got a beautiful van der Speck in the mail today. Um, I ordered this a while ago when I first started using A5 uh, ring planners as my like organizer. So um, supplementary to my daily planning system um, for things like projects and um, things like that and, and general notes. And I uh, went on a bit of an A5 spree at that time. And luckily I'm still using A5 and I think this will be like always a size I use for this purpose. So um, this is in the blackberry juice leather. The color is not coming off true to form in um, in uh, in the camera. It looks very violet purple in the in the camera. The purple is more a reddish purple um, in real life. It is a beautiful color. BBJ is my favorite ostrich leather color. Um, and it's stunning. It is really soft and beautiful. I remember that I did ask for a little bit of the foam. I think I asked for Bontex frame and foam, um, which is exactly how I love it because I love the squishiness, you know, it's just beautiful. And what I wanted to do was I wanted, so the inside is not standard to your um, standard uh, uh, A5 inside layout for the Van der Speck because I really love the um, the layout of the Louis Vuitton planners, you know, with these secretarial pockets and it's very simple kind of layout. Um, and even though the one you get with Van der Speck actually gives you more stuff because you've got a zipper pocket, you've got heaps of credit card slots and all of that. I just love the simplicity of this. And so I decided to customize it to um, make it more simple. The, you know, the, the ironic thing is whenever you make a customization, whether it's to make it more simple or more complex, it's going to cost more than the standard that's on the website, but um, it's worth it when, you know, if you're going to have the planner forever and use it regularly. So I got this to resemble very closely um, the inside of here. Um, you know, I could have uh, paid extra to have these flat these secretarial pockets a little bit lower to make it exact like this but um you know didn't really need to do that added two pen loops um i think this is the normal strap that you would get it's an a5 strap um and i got gold hardware i got the smaller ring size um because i find small ring sizes are just what works for me but you can also ask for like i think the 30 mil i can't remember what the big ring sizes are in vds but i got the smallest one um, it is stunning. I did not get a back pocket, um, because I want to keep it light and I just never use that back pocket. Um, and I have just got it kitted out. I guess I can do a quick flip. I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you about it. I uh, kept the corners rounded because I'm into round corners now. Um, when that's also very similar to the, um, to this. And it's actually also like, would you call this Amica from Julia rounded corners or square? <laughs> it's hard. I'm not sure what I'd call that, but maybe square. Um, I also love the Amica layout. Um, I would say the ostrich is floppier than the Amica, but the Amica is is really nice. Like it's not stiff. It's um, it's stiffer than the Compania, but it's not problematically stiff. I really love the Amica, um, and I much prefer the Amica from the Campania because I like, I like that it doesn't have a back pocket. It makes it lighter. And I love this secretarial flap kind of look. Um, so I uh, love those, I've, um, but uh, back to this one. So I have to decide if I want to keep using it in the same way I was using it before, or if I want to add this um, Stalogy at the back and maybe use it as my daily planner as well. And if I'm going to do that, should I just get a Hobonichi Epic? I really don't want to buy any more things though. So I might just stick to the Stalogy. We will see. I really wish I'd bought, a, I wish I'd bought the A5 Epic. Um, so that I didn't have to make this decision now. And it's like December, so it's kind of too late, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm rabbiting on. Um, so in the secretarial pocket, I've just got stickers and decoration, but I am contemplating whether I should make it purely functional and take the decorative stuff out. It's just that the decorative stuff looks so good. Um, but I will be putting like actual documents and stuff in there as the year progresses. Um, this is from Cloth and Paper. I love it. It's a layered dashboard. Um, th this inbox is from May Paper Co. Uh, this is from Cloth and Paper. 
which is lovely. And what I'm doing with this is I won't flip through too much because, um, okay. So I've got my 2023 uh, yearly overview in the Milk Vellum from May Paper Co. Love it. Um, and then I've just got these foldouts from Filofax. It's a project plan for 2023. I do, I'm actually working on projects, or so I've got projects in the works. And so I think it will be nice to sort of highlight the amount of time I'm anticipating that they take. Um, and then I've got the yearly fold up from File Effects for 2023 and 2024, which I'll use for holidays and stuff. Um, and then I've got this card holder, which I'll put, um, you know, doctor's cards and business cards in. A little sleeve here. And then we go straight to the notes section. I've got a little... Um, you know what? I've been out of the planning world. I've not been buying or doing stuff for, for a little while. And I've already, it's only been a few weeks. I've already forgotten what this stuff is called. Dashboard. This <laughs> is a dashboard from May Paper Co. Um, it's a lovely functional dashboard about, a pla you know, the planning process. So I quite like that. And then I've just got notes pages. I think that I will just use all the notes pages that I've got stashed up instead of buying new ones. So I love these from May Paper Co. And my temptation might be to buy more but I've got all of these ones from Filofax um, and even though I don't like this color why not just use it you know use the stuff you've got um, so that's just for general notes um, goal section um, is in here and I basically uh, use this for project planning so my first page contains a list of all my projects and then um, actual planning on that project on those projects follow the social tab is uh, for contact lists wellness is for tracking health stuff um, which I have been doing meals um, grocery list and uh, meal planning um, goes in there and then home is just some uh this is from cloth and paper it's um resources and tools that you know relate to home stuff i've also got a gift planning section from sasa v and shows that we can watch from there and then right at the back i've got a little 2023 overview just like a year on four pages type deal um at the back there and i'm just wondering shall i take this out and just use this as is uh, which is fine. I'll use it regularly, just not every day. Um, or should I put this like half yeast allergy in? Maybe. And, um, you know, and use that as my to-do list planning. I have a, a Sterling Inc. B6 um, common planner that I think, you know, is what I'll be using for that. But because this came in the mail to them, obviously, like, I want to use it all the time. So I don't know if I would do that. Um, I love this. It's wide enough that I can put this book in here. And it's just not going to interfere with the rings at all. It's so good. Um, and it's just so light. I think it's when I realized how light it was that I thought, I wonder if I should add a book and have this as my all-in-one for next year. That would be really useful to have everything in one place. You know... In my mind, I always think it needs to be light so I can carry it around. But my reality is I never carry my planner around. Like, it's not like I carry it everywhere. Um, I don't. I just pick it up when I need it. So it would be pretty tempting, I think, to do this. Um, so I'll have a think about that. I really wish I'd gotten a hobo avec. Um, But Sterling Inc. is going to be doing a pre-order for A5. So maybe that's what I'll do. Actually, that sounds like a great plan. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, this could be my everything planner for uh, 2023. And I'm excited. Um, I think Petra did an amazing job. I initially got, um, I ordered two separate, two two things. And then I, I ordered a B6 slim cover and an A6 rings in the BBJ and then I was like oh god I'm not using those anymore but I'd love it in A5 because I, I know I will use that forever um and she was more than happy to change it mid-order she's so flexible and easy to work with and kind and accommodating always and just wonderful so um that's it I am going to cut down on my planner ordering because we've got um, a goal that we're working towards 
for at least a few years, I think. So the funny thing is it hasn't been hard to do. I've gone from just really struggling not to spend on planning stuff for even a day, you know, to like just nothing. <laughs> So, and that was just, it, it was just like the need to save just kind of turned that off immediately, which is honestly, it's felt really good to, um, to be in that position. Um, I don't even have to do like a tracker. You know how you do like a no spend? I don't even have one of those cause it just stopped. <laughs> so, um, but this came and I'd ordered this many months ago and, um, you know, like a lot of the stuff that I'd ordered from before came from came came was was being delivered during a time when I had just stopped spending and most of that stuff I saw it and my heart kind of sank and I was like why did I buy this you know why but if it's a VDS I never have that reaction it's just so precious love it so this is my bird and um me and this bird will hopefully you know be doing more videos in the future um as I use her but otherwise, thank you for watching. Uh, have an incredible end of year to everybody and a very, very happy new year. This is the first time I've been really like uh, optimistic about the new year and excited. And I hope it's going to be wonderful for all of us. Okay, bye guys.